Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I am going to be doing a video on my insecurities and I was kind of contemplating making this video because I don't know if you saw this video but I made a video about the annoying things about myself and I don't know, I just kind of had a list of things that are annoying about myself I guess. <laughs> Somebody commented on that video saying how it's wrong that I pointed out negative things about myself and that I need to be more positive and like make a video about the positive things about myself because I don't even really remember what their point was but basically I just wanted to make a disclaimer so that I don't get those kinds of comments again because I don't know I just feel like you need to be able to point out your insecurities and stuff in order to be like completely okay with yourself. Honestly, if that's how you're gonna look at it, then please click out of this video. If you want to see a video of me saying all the things I love about myself, then like maybe I'll make one of those someday, but I honestly genuinely think to be able to accept yourself, you need to like be able to point out your insecurities and accept them. So that is why I'm making a video to kind of just like tell you that you're not alone like, everyone has their things that they're insecure about, so I'm just gonna say that, and if you don't agree with it, then please just don't watch this video, don't comment, because I honestly don't care if you disagree with me, like, I honestly stand by what I say, so please don't watch this video if this is gonna offend you in any way, because I'm not up for that right now, or ever. So the first one I kind of have a lot to say about and it is my nose and I have always been pretty insecure with my nose because I don't know if you can tell, you can probably tell, but it's like pretty crooked. Like it goes this way so much, like it's just very slanted and it's like just not straight at all and I've just always been super insecure about that. Like if you block this side of my face you just can't really tell that my nose is that big but like on this side like it just sticks out like this is half of my face and it's just sticking out a ton and then this is the other half and it's like barely even there. You can just tell how crooked it is from doing that. I'm pretty sure I have not been told by a doctor but I am like 90% sure that I have a deviated septum because it's just always way harder to breathe out of this nostril. When I block off my nose, I sound like way more nasally when I'm just talking with this nostril. But with this one, it's like way less nasally. You can literally hear the difference. It's so much less nasally. It's harder to get air through this one, I guess, but... So I have a story to go along with this and just to kind of explain why I am really insecure about it. And there was one day a couple years ago that I was at the mall with Emma and Riley. We ran into this dude that goes to our school. And he's the kind of person that if you run into him somewhere, if you see him, he will come up to you. Like there's literally no escaping him. I'm not exactly sure how this came up. I swear to God, that kid told Emma and I that our noses were like crooked like mine bent this way and hers bent the other way and like how ours just like mirrored each other I guess and how like they were crooked and he was literally saying this to our face I am not making this up at all like I swear this is 100% real and like this kid literally we aren't the only people that he's done this to I know he has pointed out like my friends eyebrows how they're like bad in his opinion and that girl's friends teeth like he was making fun of her teeth because they're crooked like, how does he have friends dude if you're watching this like I honestly don't care you can start all the drama you want but like I don't think anyone in the right mind can defend any of your actions like I honestly if you do, then you are kind of insane, like honestly. I'm just saying, I personally don't think I'd want to be known for being a judgmental piece of sh So if that's how you want to be known, then like you keep doing you, but honestly, I just think it's so messed up how someone can like point out people's flaws that they can't even change without like fucking surgery or like thousands of dollars and just go on with their day like how does someone in the right mind do that how can you just go on and be okay with yourself honestly i just i need to move on from this before i get super heated so my next insecurity is my voice and i have gotten so 
many comments on videos about my voice since I've started YouTube, like... And it is how I have a very monotone voice. Oh, there's really nothing I can do to change my voice, like... There's literally nothing I can do to change my voice, actually, so... I don't know, if my voice annoys you, and like, annoys you to the point where you need to like, dislike my video or something, then please don't watch my videos. Like, I'm literally so insecure about my voice. People assume I'm a bitch all the time just because my voice sounds deep and monotone. And I can't change it. Like, it honestly makes me so mad, but I guess there isn't much you can do, so I might as well just have to live with people being annoyed with it. And then the next one kind of goes along with my voice, but whenever I'm put on the spot, or like if I meet someone new or if someone just like talks to me that I'm not really expecting them to like talk to me, I will stutter so much. Like if I am not prepared to talk about something, I will stutter and it is so embarrassing because I can't help it and I do it so much and I feel like over the years it has gotten like progressively worse, like my stutter problem is just getting worse. What can you do? This next one isn't really something that you notice like right when you look at me or when you like hear my voice, but it is more of like a mental thing and it is my anxiety. I do have anxiety and I specifically have really bad social anxiety. Like it's just really hard for me to like go out in crowds and just like, I don't know, not get overwhelmed and stuff. I have a pretty hard time just like even going up in front of a class and like giving a presentation because I don't even know. I don't, it's not like I want to be this way. I just can't help it and I hate it so much. The reason I am insecure about this is because there are just people that don't understand. Like I worry so much about so many little things because of my anxiety and like I feel like people just don't understand. Like people just find it annoying but I literally can't help it and it's so unfortunate that some people just don't understand anxiety and like Why the fuck am I crying? <laughs> I honestly do not want to be crying right now. I, it just started happening and I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> wow, okay, so I really did not want to start crying. I did not expect that at all, but I hate talking about my anxiety. I hate it so much. But yeah, I feel like if there's anything you should know about me, it is that I do have anxiety, so. Why am I crying? Oh my god, I did not want to cry. Like, I didn't even expect to cry. I'm just gonna move on from this subject because I don't really want to cry anymore and I honestly was not expecting to cry at all. So the next insecurity is also something more mental and, and it is my memory. I don't really know if I have like any sort of memory issue but personally it's really hard for me to like remember things. Like I will remember anything like about someone when it just comes to like school related stuff and reading comprehension and that kind of stuff. I have a really hard time like comprehending things and like memorizing things and because of that reason my test taking skills are more than awful. Like they're literally so bad. It's so embarrassing to just be like sitting next to one person who gets an A and then just be sitting there like trying to hide my test so that they won't see it. I am the kind of person that when it's like time to go over a test I will just put my test away because I don't want the person sitting next to me to see my test and see how bad I did. Like having to memorize things and comprehend things is such a huge part of like just being able to go through school and get a job and everything. So it's just super unfortunate that I have that issue but I'm very insecure about it because there are so many people around me that like complain about their SAT and ACT scores and if you don't know what those are, those are two tests that you take to get into college. Like so that colleges can see what level you're at and they'll like accept you if you have a good SAT score pretty much. 
but I have just like been in so many situations where people are complaining about their scores and it's literally 10 times better than I did and I've never just wanted to like slap someone so hard when they complain about their test score like not even the SAT or ACT just like any test score like if you did above average on something like well above average then seriously don't complain about it in front of me because I have it so much worse. Even if I study for something, it's still like really hard for me to get a good test score. I feel like my brain just isn't wired the right way, I guess, to be able to like do certain subjects. Like, I took chemistry my sophomore year and that is the worst I had ever done in a class. I failed, like when I say I failed a test, I didn't get a D or C, I got an F on every single test in that class because I just couldn't understand it. I don't know what it was, but there was just something about that subject that I did not understand and I cried about it so much. Like, I just felt so stupid in that class because there were so many people around me that just understood it like a piece of cake and I was just sitting there like, what does this mean? Like, what is this? And like, thank god you don't need chemistry for anything unless you're being like a chemistry teacher or a chemist or something, which I definitely will not be. It just really lowers your self-confidence when everyone around you is getting like good test scores and you're not, and it just truly makes me feel very insecure. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. I could go on and on about it, but I think I'll just leave it right there before I ramble too much. Um, so yeah, those are all of my insecurities, and sorry if this video was kind of rambly and all over the place, but it's hard to, like, get these things out without being all, like, all over the place and, like, scatterbrained, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and more importantly, if you're insecure about anything, I just really need you to know that you're not alone. Everyone is insecure about something, some people more than others, and honestly, you are not alone. I just need you to know that, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thumbs up this video. All my social media is always below. If you have any, like, questions or want any advice, um, follow us on Tumblr and you can anonymously ask us questions. I always answer questions and it's honestly my favorite thing to do because I get to like talk to you guys and just kind of connect with you guys. So that's always below as well. And yeah. Bye!